What you're about to see is a series of video clips taken from my 3D Fit session at the Boulder Center for Sports Medicine. Conducting the fit were Sean Madsen, biomechanist, and Dr. Andy Pruitt, director of the Boulder Center for Sports Medicine. In this initial clip, we see my riding position from the side. The shoulders and elbows are in good position. However, you can see the excessive upper body movement, including the bobbing of the head and the rocking of the hips. This is at 275 watts. In this second clip, the red and green lines represent a side view, using the infrared cameras, of my right and left legs, respectively. The black and red arcs are the tracking movement of my knees. Ideally, the arcs would overlap each other, indicating a close symmetry. Here, as you can see, they do not. The third clip is taken from the front view and shows the tracking of my knees, feet, and hips through the pedal stroke. The red and black patterns traced by my knees show what is called a reverse parentheses pattern, which is not optimal for an efficient pedal stroke. Also, if you look at the top, you will see two blue dots tracking the rocking of my hips from side to side. The fourth clip is taken from above and shows even more dramatically the reverse parentheses pattern of my knees. The pain in my right knee is coming from the very top of the pattern, where it turns out to the right, causing the tendon in the knee to stretch across the bone. The left knee, as you can see, is even more extreme, and had I not come in for the fit with Dr. Pruitt, this likely would have developed into tendonitis as well. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the amount of movement in my hips from side to side, which is indicative of an inefficient pedal stroke under load. After the initial data capture, two changes were made to my bike. The saddle was moved forward 1.5 centimeters and the handlebar was raised 0.5 centimeters. In addition, I was provided with a pair of specialized body geometry shoes with blue BG inserts. External and internal shims were inserted into my right shoe to correct the angle of my foot in the pedal stroke. After these changes were made, we can see in this second video, which is also at 275 watts, that my upper body is now perfectly still. There is no rocking of the hips and no bobbing of the head at all. In the animated view from the side, we can see in this after clip that the arc of my knees is much closer together than in the initial. From the front, the tracking of the knees is now almost perfectly vertical. While the knee still has somewhat of a circular pattern to it on the right, Dr. Pruitt suggests that as my body adjusts to this new riding position on the bike, the lines will be closer together as they now are on my left knee, shown in black. The final view from above again shows a dramatic improvement from the initial clip. The reverse parentheses pattern is virtually eliminated on the right knee and has improved dramatically on the left. Again, Pruitt suggests that this will improve over time as my body adjusts to the new riding position. Looking at the bottom of the screen, you will notice a huge reduction in the amount of hip movement from side to side. The adjustments, while seemingly minor, have resulted in drastic changes. After 500 miles of riding, I will go back to the Boulder Center for Sports Medicine and do this all over again to see whether Dr. Pruitt's predictions come true and whether I still have pain in the knee. Please stay tuned.